Okay. Toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity. Um, new term. Warm and fuzzy. I um, and we lived in Cincinnati for many, many years, mm -hmm. and we have got, gotten to, to know the privilege of knowing a lot of the people that work in the high up levels of Procter & Gamble. Yep. One of the companies Procter & Gamble deals with is Gillette. Yep. They just put out a commercial called Toxic Masculinity. And I cannot begin to tell you how badly I'm glitching. My brain is freaking out because yeah. if you've not seen it, the, the commercial basically lays out and I'm gonna I'm gonna go broad brushstrokes because you wanna watch it for yourself, you can right. go for it. Mm -hmm. But bottom line is they're trying to paint this picture that men are bad. And some of the things that they're depicting really are bad. So do not hear that we're saying, oh my gosh, it's okay if guys go around groping girls. No, 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 no. Not no. at all. Let's first condemn what is wrong. Obviously, sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. Bad. That's yeah. not a trait of a strong man, actually. Yeah. Bullying is bad. Bad, not right. a trait not of a strong a, man. No, the trait of a strong man is, oh, there's- Getting between the bullies and, and the people that need defending. Right, right. <sighs> Let me just say, the commercial basically lays out this case that the best you, you know, the Gillette, the best a man can get, right? And this isn't the best we can do. And, and they paint this picture that all men should pretty much be shamed in one form or another. They, they lay out that, you know, generally men are bullies and generally boys are bullies and, and we've got to stop this. This is a horrible thing. And then they cut to women and, you know, news reporters talking about how sexual harassment is all out of control. And they show different TV shows where guys are, you know, pretending like they're going to grab these girls. And first of all, that crap is bad. Yeah. <clears throat> this is the... I'm sorry, I'm glitching as well, and I'm having a really hard time putting my words to you that are not, of <laughs> not offensive or inappropriate for children to hear. Okay, it's time out, warning. <sighs> I, I, let's just say there's a lot of emotion going on right now. Yeah. And I, I, I'll start and then you chime in, how's that? Sounds good. <laughs> I am sick to death of being told I'm bad because I'm a man, mm -hmm. and I'm a white man, and I supposedly have this mystical white privilege, still waiting for the check on that one. Um, I am sick to death of being told that we are the problem in society right. when all we do... You fight men, for every little thing ever. <laughs> men who are men are not the problem. The problem is the wussification of America. Exactly. And Procter and Gamble, shame on you. Exactly. And I didn't. I couldn't believe because we know a lot of those people that are yeah. in really high positions. We kn we know the CEO of Procter and Gamble. He went to our church. Okay, so I, I am severely disappointed, David. Come on. <sighs> the thing is this, guys. The picture that is being painted by liberal media is that if you're a man, you're predisposed to do all this horrible junk and you need to fix it. Right. And so I'm so glad that Gillette razors, Gillette razors, I've been using these freaking razors for, for my entire adult life. Right. Not anymore. No, don't. No. And unless they change their ways, I will never give Procter & Gamble another penny. And I'll no. tell you why, guys. Because you've got to vote with your dollars. Yes. Not all men are bad. No. Not all, you know, not all women are good. Oh, no, time out, guys. You can't okay. say that. Hold on. There is a small percentage of men in this society that, are dirt bags. that objectify women, that bully other people. You know what? Guess what, people? There are a small percentage of women who objectify men and the they same stuff. bully other women. Oh, you want to see some nasty? Come on. You want to see some nasty cat fights? Watch two girls compete over the same job. Or the same guy. Oh. 
Oh, You didn't no. go there, did you? Girls today in school are just mean and nasty. It's, I have never, ever... Let's the, just the say, word the, I things, can say. <laughs> the things that I have heard Claire tell me About that some girls on. do at school... Oh, no. And this is another reason to the very long list of why we homeschool. The, the word I would use is vitriolic. Just vicious, bitter, nasty, bitter. backbiting. Oh. Here's the thing, guys. The, the problem is this, is there are powers that want to separate black folks from white folks, Mexicans from these people, you know, men from women, because they make money off of it. They benefit if we're all fighting with each other, because then they can't really get together and solve the problems in a way that's actually going to be conducive to everybody. Because if we do that, then the people that are manipulating us won't be able to sell us their widget, gidget, or gadget, or keep themselves in power, if we're talking about politics. If we're, if we're not fighting with each other and we're looking at all the baloney that they're doing, yeah. then they can't get away with it. So, you know, when I saw that commercial, toxic masculinity, what the, are you kidding me? Once again, there is a very small percentage of people who are dirtbags, and it does not matter if you're a man. It does not matter if you're a woman. It doesn't matter if you're white or black. Or purple or pink. Exactly. Or chartreuse. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter if you're gay or straight. All of it. There are bitter, nasty people who do bitter, nasty things, but that is not the majority of people. No. And I'm here to tell you guys, what is happening is this. I think that the, I think that Procter and Gamble's rolled the dice because they've believed what their focus groups have told them, and that is that you know the younger generation coming up has been indoctrinated for over a generation now that it's all about the wussification. Yeah, you can't be a manly man. You can't jump in there. And I'm here to tell you, they got it wrong. Yeah. Here's the deal. When I saw this, instantly my blood boiled, but not just mine. Uh, mine did too. Brad, I heard, a, I heard, we were listening to the radio, and he was talking about it on the radio. I was like, what is he talking about? I said, just call it up. Call it up, watch it on YouTube. Well, guess what? I watched it, and I began to explode. The likes and dislikes are telling. It's almost double it's dislike. It's more than double. More than double. Well, and here's the thing. I think that Procter & Gamble's rolled the dice and thinking that the people that are coming up to buy their product and use their product is a bigger demographic than the people that have been using them their entire life. Right, no. And I'm here to tell you, Again. there's a lot of guys that are younger than me and way older than me mm -hmm. that have been using their stupid razors forever, and I'm saying, no more. No, no mas. More. You get no more pennies until you get your heads out of your rectums. Exactly. Mm, and that is about as kind as I can put that. Here's the thing, guys. We can be mad about whatever we want to be mad about. Mm -hmm. But the reality is nothing's going to change unless you do something about it. And mm -hmm. I'm going to vote with my dollars. Yeah. My dollars will not give Procter & Gamble another penny because it's a lie. Mm -hmm. Not every man struggles with, should I grope this woman today? Not every man struggles with, oh man, I really shouldn't beat up on that little weaker person because I'm bigger. No, the real man gets in between the bully and the person that needs defending and they take care of business. And you know what, sometimes it takes a real man to take care of that business. Exactly. I'm not talking about going and being an aggressor. No. But you stop the threat. S stand up for what's right. Whether it's a woman, bully, victim, mm -hmm. any of that stuff. Stand up for what's right. Good Period. Lord. How, how is it that we've gotten so far away from our values that in, in the pattern of 20 years, it, it has everything's flip-flopped? It's been the indoctrina indoctrination in the schools. It's what is shown on, on TV, TV, okay? That it's okay to stand back and watch one person beat up another person. But you know what? In public schools, you get suspended. the kids who actually stand up for the person who's getting beat up gets in trouble. How is that? Well, that happened here just not too long ago. Here's the thing. I don't really remember this, but um, our son Jonathan, when he was in public school, mm -hmm. he had to come to the defense of someone who was being picked on. Mm -hmm. And he got 
into that person's face, mm -hmm. and he stopped the threat. And, you know, he said that the principal found out, and I said, good. I double dog dare you to suspend him. Go for I'll it. I'll take him out to the movies. We're gonna go. We're gonna go shooting. Is what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go and, and maybe fart around on the truck and make something cool because you know what? You did the right thing. I do not care that they want to neuter men in schools. No, no. not in no my more. house. No more. No, not gonna happen in our house. Not at all. Absolutely not. We are. Our children are going. Men, boys, and girls are going to stand up for what is right. They have to. And they stand up. No matter how much it hurts. Oh, I'm going to get an insult suspension because I saved some kids from getting beat up. Give me a yes, break. Yes, that you should be applauded. Stand up for what's right. Stand up for what's right. That's all that, that's what matters. Not a penny more, Procter & Gamble. No. I really hope you see this, David. Because this is who I'm buying from right now. Just mm -hmm. got it today. Yeah. And you know what? That is over 25 years of giving you money every month. No more. No mas. No more. Vote with your dollars, people. What do you think? Am I off my lot and my... Off my rocker. Off my meds? <laughs> your pills, Garth? No. No, there are no pills. We are completely sane, reasonably thinking people. I'm tired of being pushed into a corner. Tired of being pushed around saying that this is okay. It's not. It's not okay. Not at all. Decision makers, grow up. Exactly. Those in marketing? Grow up. Grow up. Think about other than just your agenda. A marketing focus group. Give me a break. I guarantee you that's how it went down. I, I, I have no doubt. They, they pinged, it's you know, 18 to 25-year-olds. And, well, and, and those like, are all millennials who... It's fine. You know what? I guarantee you... You know, whatever it is that I've spent over the course of my adult life on Gillette yeah. razors. Or Procter & Gamble products, period. We're going through. Yeah. No must. No more. Nope. Guys, vote with your dollars. Mm -hmm. If you think I'm right, agree. If not, you can disagree, but just be nice about it. You know, you are entitled to your opinion, it, as we are as well. If you don't like that opinion, it's sorry. Fun. You can even disagree as long as you do it nicely. Right. But if you're a jerk, you we're, just get bounced. We're, we're not being nasty to you. To you. Anyway, so. I need to go and ride on my tractor for a while. Yeah. That'll be good. Yeah. Bye.